Okay, so today we are going to be talking about some Easter eggs. Now, for those of you that are unfamiliar with what, what I'm referencing here, uh, Easter eggs are like kind of hidden elements in some video games that uh, were hidden by the developers. So it's like kind of a, a like, a, hey, you found this. Congratulations. Here's a small reward or just, you know, hey, you know about this and nobody else is going to be able to find it because we haven't advertised it. Uh, first first Easter egg ever was in Atari's Adventure in 1978 by programmer Warren Bennett. He implemented one of the first Easter eggs, um, and that was like you had to find a gray dot on the video game, and that took you to like a separate room uh, in that game. You know, Atari graphics, so you're basically just looking at pixels anyways. But so uh, from 1979, that tradition has thus carried into all the like games throughout all the way up until now, 2022. And one of the games that has taken Easter eggs in full force is, I would say, Call of Duty Zombies. Now, for those of you that don't know, Call of Duty Zombies is just like a survival type game mode where you spawn in with a pistol and you have to work your way up to better guns, better loot, perk up, and you just survive against the horde. At a very surface level, that's what Zombies is. And then on August 6, 2009, the map Darius came out on Call of Duty World at War, and it added a tiny Easter egg that, honestly, I'm surprised nobody found by accident. Uh, someone was probably looking for it, but you had to shoot a box on a telephone pole with a pack-a-punched weapon, which is like the upgrade. And then uh, that sent some objects around the map that you had to go and play hide-and-seek with. And then that has since evolved over the years um, till like full like quest outlines where you have to complete multiple steps and then you get your reward at the very end. So what we're doing today is uh, back in 2016, so about six years and four months ago, Call of Duty dropped the map Dreisendrack. And if we look here, I completed the Easter egg in 2016 on May 4th. And I haven't really done it much since around this time period. So today I thought it would be a fun old time to try and do this Easter egg from memory and see if I can still do it. Because I did it a lot. It took a couple of attempts to actually like beat the first time. So I should have all that information still stored up here. And uh, I'm not gonna look up any guides. So I'm literally just gonna jump into a game of DE with whatever gobble gums I have on PC because I haven't uh, done the Easter egg on PC yet. And then uh, we're just gonna see if I can do it from memory. And it should be a pretty funny video. I know I'm forgetting at least like two steps. So that's gonna annoy me when we get there. But yeah, let's just uh, jump right into the game, shall we? Bam. So we're doing no webcam because that makes it easier on my computer. Sure. I'm trying to do this relatively as quickly as possible. Man, I still know this fucking map like the back of my hand. It's crazy. I forgot how many each dragon needs. I think it's like seven or eight. Come on, give me green. Yes, sir. Alright, dragon, we'll be back in a jiffy. Oh my god. Fucking sticky keys, bro. Are you serious? Oh my god, no! God, that sticky keys fucked with my holes. Shit. Come on. Make it to the teleporter. I'm not gonna make it. Got it, bitch. <laughs> Activate the fucking low gravity. Yurt. I guess I did, could just do these guys with this dragon. I wish there was a speedrunning strat to make this fuck eat faster, but... Oh, fuck! This dragon's already... He died on the last one. You're... Oh, okay, cool. It's Easter egg time! Jesus Christ, why was that so loud? There we go. Now we just wall run on these. Yay. Whoo, almost fucking failed that. Forgot that that side loves to throw you off the wall. Yes, sir, ski. Oh, 
And that's arrow complete. Now time for the upgrade. Right, Easter egg time. Yo! Did this shit just despawn? Fuck, bro. Alright, it's not there, it's not there. I'm giving myself five attempts on this before I just fucking give up on this step and look it up. Okay. One. Two. Yes, sir. Fuck, I lost it again. On the last one. What a pain in the ass. Unless it's clock, but it has to. If it's not. Get up! I feel like t stamina up fucking tier five is better than. Yes! Step complete. Now, I should only have to do that one more time. Hopefully. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, no. I get the fuses from the thing. L O O. L O O. L O O. What the hell just happened? Tonight's forecast. Oh, fuck. I can't end the round. I forgot about that. That's, like, very important. How the fuck do I enter the code? Oh, did I not grab, like, the fuse thing? I think I need to grab something specific. That is very annoying. I hate the wisps up, and I hate when I fuck it up. DRL. 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 Okay. Where the fuck are these things? I'm gonna just spamming F on every fucking thing. Fam. Please. Hi guys, Mr. Waffles here. Put the fuse in on that side. What? You got a phone to pick or something? So I did have the fuse. Um, I just put it in. I just uh did the wrong side. Now I fucking forgot what my code was. Alrighty, my code is DRL because I just went back and checked the footage because I can do that. It's not cheating, it's just using my resources. L. Cool. Yes, sir. That's that phase complete. Ready, now let's grab this shit. Alrighty, now time for one of the most annoying steps in zombies. Simon says! Yay! Cool. I just need to go do this again. Alrighty, let's get my boy Dempsey back. Let's go. Hit the button. Here he comes. It's me! I'm so thankful I did that shit already. Golden Rod! Alright, now I got my second and final wisp step. I wish I could jump over railings in this game. It's a real big flop that I can't. What you going? No way Widow's Wine Grenades fucking count. That's so funny. Right, let's fucking try this shit again. Oh. Telephone. Thank God. It went to that fucking clock. I know I should have just checked it. Because it's not quick revive. Fuck. At least it better be. If not, I'm fucked again. <laughs> okay, good. Shark and 
All right, so I should need to hit F on the book to open the case. All right, book, book, book. Yep, I heard it open. Boom, and I got the last part I needed. Don't suppose anyone. Got it. Literally, this rocket test goes off when you don't need it to, and then never goes off when you need it to. And you only need it to once. Best thing I ever learned in zombies was that your walking speed matches their running speed. So I could walk backwards away from this dude and he cannot catch me. Unless I get caught on some shit, but. I can just look at him. Yes, sir. Flashbang through the door. Now this is a very stressful step because I cannot leave this white circle on the floor. Ow, bro. Fuck. Alright, you're fully back to you. It's just about boss fight time. Alright, so I'm just gonna get one zombie left. Actually, that's probably a better gobble gun. Damn it. Oh well. I should have really fucking taken that gobble gum. That's a big ass flop. Well then I literally just need to fucking get a good double pap on this and then I'm set up. Okay, we almost got this. We almost got this. Alrighty, let's get into this boss fight then. Let's grab a new shield. And welcome to the boss fight arena, everybody. I love this fucking boss fight. It's so cool. Oh, fuck. I forgot about those things. Thank God for danger closest. That would have been the fucking enemy right there. Jesus, I can't see anything. Are you serious, bro? How? I'm fucked. Fuck, this is not ideal. What 
a fucking wasted opportunity because of goddamn flamethrowers. No way it took my bow away from me. What kind of stupid ass shit is that? I'm still trying. But it's not looking like this is going to be in our favor, boys. Yep. Fuck! Well, at least I remembered how to do it. Kind of. Only step I had to look up was uh, where to put those fuses. God damn, bro. I should have grabbed that near-death experience. That literally would have saved me. Because I would have had unlimited downs in the boss fight. We get it, we get it. Damn it. <laughs> well, alright. That was fun. Uh, sorry, I couldn't finish that. Uh, the last steps I needed to do were, uh, after that boss fight, I would go pick up this little ball thing from the bottom of that pyramid, and then I would just take it up to the computers, and then I would have blown up the moon. Uh, which would have been a cool ending to the video, but, uh, I suck, unfortunately, so... Thus, here we are with just a normal talking head outro. I just wanted to, do, uh, jump in here real quick and say thank you guys so much for watching. I'll... I'm trying to do two videos a week. Uh, I need to figure out, like, how I'm gonna shoot and edit them and, like, get that out accordingly, so... Uh, once I figure that out, should be new videos every Monday and Friday. I might switch that to Tuesday, Thursday, get them a little closer together, but then I don't know. We'll see. So uh, if you guys enjoyed anything that you saw today, I would just have you hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later next week with another video. Thank you. Hey.